Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Damon, this is Dame Over, and in today's Firestorm video I'm going to show you a couple of the secrets that seem to have gone under the radar a little bit and it's all to do with your settings. Now if you change these settings then you will absolutely have a far better time in gunfights, finding enemies and ultimately getting more wins. So let's jump straight into it. So here we go, on the home screen, go to more, go to options and I'm going to hit gameplay first. Now the shooting is slightly different in Firestorm on console at least as it is to multiplayer but for some for some reason the two game modes act differently in terms of gunplay and on console this can be particularly felt in aim assist so if we go down to soldier aim assist I've taken that all the way down to 78% I've played with it a little bit but there seems to be a happy medium because in firestorm the aim assist is particularly strong which makes it an absolute nightmare if you're having to fight more than one opponent because your gun ends up pointing in parts of the screen that you absolutely don't want it to point at so what does soldier aim assist do well this basically means how heavily you stick to your target and as you can see in the explanation, the higher the number, the stronger the stick. You'll notice a particularly big difference when you're in gunfights that are at close range. Anything that's sort of towards medium to long range it doesn't make that much of a difference, to be perfectly honest, if you do change your soldier aim assist. But in those last couple of zones, you're absolutely going to want to be able to move your reticle and your weapon wherever you want it to actually go instead of the game deciding it for you. And next up, we've got what I think is the most important setting to change that will definitely help you get more kills and more wins in Firestorm, and it's all to do with your audio. So if we have a look at the sound preset, usually in multiplayer, I have it on 3D headphones. This will apparently give you far more directionality in terms of where the sound is coming from, but as we all know in Battlefield 5 and in Firestorm, the sound needs a little bit of work. It's not particularly accurate, unfortunately. And hearing footsteps coming up behind you, especially in Firestorm, where it is very, very important to be aware of your surroundings at all times, it makes it very, very difficult to do that if the sound isn't working as you'd expect. And the way I found for it to work to its absolute optimum is by using war tapes. Now, this changes the EQ and everything a little bit. For those of you guys that know anything about sound, you get a little bit of the higher end of stuff. So in the description, it says the classic battlefield setting with an emphasis on chaos. You will be able to hear gunshots and the planes flying overhead, rats coming out of bushes and stuff like that. Anything in the surroundings that you usually only hear in the background is made far more prominent, but it also means you'll be able to hear other players' footsteps far more clearly. Now this is going to be useful for a number of reasons, mostly because there is a sort of camping hiding in bush culture that's going on in Firestorm. It's not ideal, but we're going to have to cope with it. And War Tapes is definitely a step in the right direction to dealing with those people that decide to play so passively. And if you like to play Firestorm solo, then you'll know people hiding in buildings and waiting for the Firestorm itself to make them move is a very, very common tactic. Now this has caught me out on a number of occasions and it's all because I can't hear the player moving around in the building clearly enough. War Tapes, again, is going to help Help you combat that sort of tactic. In Battle Royales in particular, having the most amount of information you can is so important to be able to get into those last few fights and get the win. And having this sort of audio information will absolutely help you choose how to play. It will change your tactics and force you to move in certain ways that you wouldn't necessarily have done had you not heard what the enemy team was doing. Now, these are just my personal preferences. I'm sure you guys have your own as well, but let me know what they are, especially if you play on console and with the aim assist. I want to know what level you have it at. Or if you think one of the audio presets is even better than war tapes, I want to know what you guys think. So make sure you jump into the comments and you let me know. So I'm really hoping these settings will stop people from getting snuck up on and you won't feel like you're cheated out of an entire round and have to go back to that really annoying hangar with the flashing red light. Why, why do we have to spend so long in that hangar? But anyway, here's a big thank you to my day operatives. Those of you guys supporting the channel through Patreon, you guys are absolute heroes and it's your support that keeps this channel running. So if you want to become a day operative yourself, there's a link in the description and the pinned comment to the Patreon page. If you had a good time, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget the bell button so you don't miss any future posts. And as always, share this video wherever you like. Until next time, that's Dame over. Peace.